Hello Aquarius, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, this is Reading Truth to Row by Clara and my name is Clara. <laughs> and today we will be reading truth. Aquarius, I hope you had wonderful holidays. And I hope the new year is starting out well for you guys. I also wanted to let you know that here we go. One. So we start with the Emperor. A major arcana here. I'm also going to be giving away this uh, deck here. So just put your name and put Romance Angels giveaway and I will and I will choose who will get those cards for free. Okay. We got a fire sign here. We got two fire signs, actually. Okay. The world card. Oh, look at this. Ten of cups. Oops, hold on. Can't get it together over here. Okay, oh, the lover's card. Hello. Nice. Aquarius, your reading is starting to look really good. Like, really, really good. Oh, a proposal. Look at this. I'm going, they're flying everywhere. I'm getting a proposal, some kind of proposal. Could be something of marriage, engagement. I want new strength here. I got three, but I'm taking them. Okay, so I want to see things again differently. I think you got this for the yearly readings when it came to the hangman. Okay. Oop. All right. We also have the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck and at the top, we have the Knight of Swords. Someone is coming in with some information for you. Someone could be also spying on you. All right, let's dive into your reading, Aquarius. So here we're starting with the Emperor. This is a real boss. This is the divine male, the divine male um, counterpart here. This is the Emperor. This is someone who's... who's has stability in their life. I just got so tongue tied. Who has <laughs> stability in their life? This could be a fire sign. Um, or I see it as Aries. Some people see it a little different, but I see this as Aries. Um, this is someone who's grounded, stable, who has it together, who has money, house, home, and they're very centered, grounded, stable, and always know what to do when something comes up. So this is someone who's. And this person not necessarily has to be an Aries, but this person carries that energy of staying centered, grounded, um, keep trying to keep everything together, so to speak. This person has it to has pretty much their world together. This could be so either you or someone you're probably meeting. Or someone around you. Here you have the page of one. Someone younger than you may be coming in with some information. Um, they may be coming in to flirt with you as well. This person may be younger than you. But the communication they're going to bring is going to bring a spark of some kind towards you. So it's going to be good news. It's going to be something that brings happiness to you. Crossing you is the world card. The world card is maybe not being able to bring something to closure. So you may not be able to like put an ending to a cycle with someone or someone hasn't put an ending to a cycle with you. Like someone is still like, no, this is not over. So where you probably moved on, whatever, someone could be around you going, no, this is not over yet. Like, you know, we still have business. Could be a former lover. 
Here I see you have the Ten of Cups in your foundation. So you may be happy where you're at at the moment. Um, you may be happy with family, your new environment, um, either that or you're moving somewhere else. But I see you emotionally fulfilled. There's a lot of abundance here. You're not really lacking for anything. You have what you need. You may be happy in the new environment if you've moved to an, another environment. You may be happy in your environment there. Or you may be thinking of going somewhere else to a better environment. So like if you're not in a nice environment, you're probably thinking or hoping or probably even moving to a new environment where it's nicer and things just, you just want a better life. This represents the water signs. Um, it represents Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And that's in your foundations. In your recent past, you do have the Page of Pentacles. So someone could have come in with an offer. Again, someone younger than you. This is a page. And they could have come in with an offer of um, possibly work. You know, some offer where it would bring you money. Not quite the money you want to make just quite yet, but it may be uh, some money coming in for you. Um, someone also may be coming in with a love offer for you in the recent past. And it's something new, like even if it was someone you knew, like it's coming in fresh, like they're trying to come in brand new. Here we have... Um, major arcana the lover's card this is also another another major arcana this is a card of spirituality of you know going through transitioning through spirituality um being put on a pedestal being seen as a goddess i feel like someone is watching you someone that's not quite there with you i feel like someone is watching you someone sees you like wow she's amazing she's beautiful she is just feminine and gorgeous and, you know, and they're crazy about you. They have a lot of passion for you. Could be a Gemini. In the future, you do have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is stability. It's moving in together. It's coming together. It's marriage. It's um, families coming together as well, moving in together. For some of you, not all of you, some of you may be moving in with someone. This person either may be taking on your child, or you may be taking on their child, or maybe you just will be merging families together. Or you're going to get pregnant and have a family. And that's not for anyone, but this is like really stable, grounded um energy even though it's fire because this represents the fire signs aries leo sagittarius here we have the knight of cups representing the water signs representing pisces cancer scorpio someone may be coming in with an offer of love someone might want this with you Someone's looking for marriage to move in together. They want stability. They want strong foundations. They want a loving home. Um, you probably already have this with someone, but someone is looking at you like, yeah, I want that with you. They also could be coming in another another side to this. Is they could be coming in with an offer that makes you emotionally happy. And it's coming in pretty fast. As you see, he's up and he's coming in quick. So someone may come in with something that makes you emotionally happy, an offer. Here you have the strength card representing Leo. You know, someone is probably trying to gather the strength to come towards you um, with this romantic offer, whether it be physically or like online or something like this, like uh, through Facebook or whatever, but Someone is trying to come in and someone is trying to gather the strength to come towards you. You may also need the strength to deal with um, a lot that's going on possibly in your life as well.
but everything is going to be okay now but i feel like someone is trying to gather the strength to come towards you is what i feel and the person could be a leo you have you have water energy you have that you have fire energy you have earth energy you have water energy and fire energy they're all here in your hopes and fears you do have uh the two of wands someone may be wanting to actually gather the strength to come and see you or try to like i feel like someone wants to come and see you but they're they're kind of what's the word they're indecisive i feel like they still need to gather that strength they don't have the strength to do so yeah someone wants to come towards you and they want to offer a cup of love with this with this knight of cups they want marriage who is this person they want the ten of cups with you you may have the ten of cups already but they want this with you someone this is in the future position so someone in the future is going to come with like some kind of an offer that's going to be in relations to to being with you again this is not for everyone this is for some of you so in your yearly readings you got the hangman and you got him again for your outcome position um the hangman you know is someone that's going within paying attention to everything around them again giving 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 and i think you're starting to see that in a situation it could be with family it can even be with friends. Like sometimes you feel like you just give, 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 and you don't get back. And, and sometimes, you know, we give and give and give, and we're always expecting something back. Never expect what you give to others that you're going to get that back equally. That's just, no, that doesn't happen that way. You have to give when not, without expecting. But if you feel like you're being taken advantage of, then it's time to, yeah step back a little bit and kind of say okay i'm not doing this anymore or i'm not giving this energy anymore the way i gave it too much i'm draining myself some people can be energy vampires they just take 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 and they don't give back at the top of the deck here you do have the knight of swords someone maybe again someone may be spying on you I feel like someone is watching you. Someone is watching you. I said that earlier. Someone is watching you. Someone is spying on you online. They're watching you. They're admiring you. Someone wants to come in and they want to come in with, you know, some communication or they want to come in clearly. They want to express whatever it is they need to express. Again, this person may be an um, uh, air sign a gemini or aquarius gemini or libra because that's the card of gemini and again like i said someone wants to come in with passionate communications someone wants clear communications they want to express what's in their mind they want success with you you may be doing something that brings you, like, in a form of communication that will bring you su some success. But someone wants to bring love to you with that white dove that, that just represents love to me. Yeah, this turned out to be a love reading. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I'm going to... What am I doing here? Okay. The next one we're going to do is Twin Flames Ignite Oracles by Jennifer Aquarius. How, how fitting. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Okay, goodbye letter. Like I said, someone may be walking away from someone. It may not be you. It might be someone else. They may be leaving another party to come towards you. 
Because with the two of wands, they have a choice to make between two people. However, I, I don't know. This person is like intimate pleasures either you're having intimate pleasures right now with your loved one or this person is thinking about having intimate pleasures with you the answers are in your dreams so if you have a question about something the answers are in your dreams okay and it says create something new all right the next ones we're gonna do i always shake this camera i'm sorry guys the next ones we're going to do is my Island Wellness cards. Again, don't forget if you want my Romance Angel Oracle cards here that I'm giving away, do comment in the comment section and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you know you don't miss when it does come on. So the first one you got here, guys, is keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string alongs, one night stand. Okay, this is not for all you guys. This is for some of you guys. The second card that you got here is passion, and it says insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. All right. I don't know what's going on, Aquarius, but you guys hmm, got some lovey-dovey passions going on. Sounds like a little affair or something, though. Or at least someone wants that with you. This could be what they're thinking, what they want with you. Come on, give me one more for Aquarius. One more. Doesn't want to come out, huh? Okay, that's what that one. No, one peeped out. Okay, this one we have is palm tree stability, security, performance, growth, flexibility. Things are gonna be good for you, Aquarius. Do not worry. Things actually look good. Either you're needing strength in a situation, or someone needs. I feel like someone needs strength to come and see you. You may even need uh, need strength to deal like with your family members. Actually, I'm missing one more. Actually, this goes here. Yeah, I'm missing one more. Oh, that one went flying all the way out. But here's ha. Look what stood in my hand. One went flying away from me. But this one here flipped right in my hands. And it says, looking at your pic photos, missing you, nostalgia, make, make new memories. And it says something here would create something new. Someone wants to make new memories with you. Someone <laughs> wants... This is crazy. Someone wants a relationship with you. Someone wants stability with you. Someone wants, you know, house, home... They want to make a family with you is what I'm seeing. And again, this is not for every Aquarius out there. This is for some of you guys. Some of you are probably already in a committed relationship and have no idea this is this is going on in the background. <laughs> and you're like minding your business, but this is what they want. Maybe you had a one night stand one time with someone and they're just stuck on you. They're, they could be just stuck on you. Crazy. Okay. So, guys, that's what I have for today. If you would like a personal reading or if you would like any of these bracelets from Phoenix Gibbs. She has so many spiritual baths, you name it. Um, just check out the links be below in the description box. Also, check out the links below in the description box box for Métis Unique, Ser as Unique Serendipity on Facebook. She does Reiki healings and wish jars and such. Uh, she's amazing. Um, she's really gifted and so is Phoenix. Um, they're both very gifted women. Um, do uh, check them out for me. Uh, also, what else what was I going to say? And if you would like a private reading, that's in the description box below. The links are all down there for you guys. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for watching, subscribing, sharing, um, all your likes, your comments. Um, 
it's greatly appreciated and until next time my loves namaste and love and light